Hello. Hello. Sorry. I gotta get better at these cold openings. Like, I want them to be, like, interesting and stuff. Like, like I'll be like, hey, everybody, today we're gonna be playing Pokemon again. And then, like, the theme song will play, and it'll be like, it's me, I'm Alex. And then I'll say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad that y'all are here again. To, oh, uh, where did my brain go? I lost my brain between the last time I was here. Hold on. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I'm here. I saw that you guys were, uh, discussing in the chat room my, uh, my closing remark, which, uh, seemingly gets cut off every time, and, uh, I'm aware of that. It is a bug, not a feature. And um, I would love for you guys to to know what I'm saying. But like, no matter what I do, I I don't like. There's like a a force, like a power, that uh that keeps me from being able to say what I want to say. Like, I feel like I could save lives. But, like, I can't even trick it. Watch. Hold on. This isn't, this isn't the, the end of the show. But I just, I'm, I'm gonna try, okay? <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for, uh, for watching. <laughs> And, uh, don't forget goodbye. It's it's some bullshit, man. So like, yeah, maybe like if I learn another language or something, or or I don't know, but it won't let me. And I want you guys to know these things that I want you to know. Maybe one day. All right, what am I? Oh yeah, I'm playing some Pokemon. Let's uh, let's play some Pokemon. Like I can say it in other contexts. Like it knows. Like you know, if I tell, you know, Leonard, hey, don't forget to take your medicine or whatever. It doesn't cut me off. It cuts me off when I'm trying to get my message out there. And I don't know. Are you sure it's not like? Some sort of quirky gimmick that just shut the shut the fuck up, shut up right now, because I I am not no stop it. Just saying, like it's no no it's real. All of this is real, and you will not be real if you keep on trying to ruin the magic of this show, bitch ass. Motherfucker. Alright, well, let's play some Pokemon. Get it loaded up here. There we go.
Pokemon. I just... I'm getting kind of tired of it. I got a thing here. And he's always like... Trying to start drunk. I don't, I don't need it. When we last left off, I don't remember. Alright, oh yeah, we have a Pidgey that I didn't name, because I'm prejudiced against Pidgeys. And then we have a Seymour and a Leonard. Oh, cool. And I got my first badge. And that was nice. Good times. Well, I say it's my badge, but it's me and Lucky's badge. Lucky helped me get that badge. Uh, so your suggestion, I just go ahead and ditch that Pidgey now that I've... Uh... Oh yeah, I did buy a bunch of potions last time. Well, now that I uh, used the Pidgey for... for now that I used the Pidgey for what I needed it for, I guess I'll go to a, a Poké Center and release it. Where the fuck is the Poké Center? Poké Mart. Sign. Where is it? There we go. I don't think it gives me the option to, to euthanize it. Ooh, that would be even better. It'll just hang out in there as a bunch of bits. I store that in uh, someone's PC, right? It's Bill. Everyone knows it's Bill, but... It is hell. Sorry, Pidgey. Huh? Just throw it in the river. It would... it would never... It would... oh... It would never be found. So if you did put a Pokemon, like, on a USB, right, I assume, since you can store them on computers as data, you could store them on a piece, on a, like, USB. So, like, okay, have they ever dived into what happens if, like, the computer or the hard drive fails? Certainly someone has. Uh, that is a something. What is this TM? Oh, it's Bide. Oh, it's stored on the cloud, I see. I don't think I want to use this bide right now. No, I do not. I don't... I don't remember which way I want to go. Well, I guess if it does become corrupt, it becomes a missing now, right? I mean, corrupt Pokemon are like a thing. I've never actually seen a missing now outside of internet stuff, but I suppose if it does become corrupted, it becomes one of those.
I need to go to this museum? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that like, maybe later. Oh yeah, that, that dude shouldn't let me through here. He's not even here. Hey girl. My dad. Wanna battle? Okay. I got a gym badge now. Oh, look at your Pidgey. Sorry. Sorry. It does. It's avenging the memory of the other Pidgey who I, uh, trapped in my computer, Bill's computer. Not Carl. Sorry, Carl. Sorry. Another Pidgey. This must be R Ralph. Let me, uh, let me let Leonard get some of that. Hey Ralph, I'm about to destroy you. I'm gonna destroy you. It'll take multiple horn attacks, but you will be destroyed. Leonard. Not the real live Leonard, of course. Did I learn double kick already? Oh, that's right. Now I'll be kicking with some rock Pokemon, but you're mean. Yep. What you gotta say? This real live Leonard over here has no power because he's a, he's a little powerless little puppet man with no control over anything, even his own destiny. Shameful, really. Pikachu is my puppet. Uh, I guess I do talk about destiny a lot, don't I? For someone who doesn't believe in fate. 
It sure is a talking point of mine. I, uh, I think, of course, I don't believe in fate. I don't believe in destiny, really, when I talk about destiny. I guess if I'm, if I'm talking about destiny, oh lord, did I tell you guys I took my brain off? Alright, so, destiny, uh, I think that you control your own destiny, and I don't think that you can just dream it or whatever and like you will get what you deserve because you will not always get the things that you deserve. I just want to live a good life. Not even like a fancy life. I hope that, you know, the only kind of life I want is one where there's food in the pantry and the, there's an air conditioner during the summer and a heater during the winter and a computer with some internet that maybe I can play some games on or something. But, and I mean, I guess I have all of those things now. I wouldn't mind the things, those things to be upgraded. Like, you know, I have food in my pantry, but it's a, uh, sorry, I was talking about destiny and I'm getting all distracted, but, uh, But I mean, of course I would love to just, like, sit on my butt all day and play games and, like, talk to people and get paid for it. You know, I, I do this show, and, you know, obviously I put a little effort into this show. I hired some puppets, and I got a cartoon camera and stuff. That would be cool, but my my life has been a uh, wow. That was not very effective. My life has uh and the life lives of those around me have not been uh how do I say? Uh, let me switch this Laird out, he's worthless. Just like in real life! Huh? Leonard is worthless? Maybe we can cut out on this whole... being mean to each other thing. It's toxic. This is a toxic work environment. It's making me very upset. I don't... I don't like it. Are you crying? I didn't mean to make you cry. I just... This whole animosity thing... I don't... I don't like it. But you started sometimes. I know, but I thought... I thought that it was... It was big for a a better show. You thought being a douchebag asshole would make this a better show. And then I return the fire and... And now you're, you're crying on my, my internet game show, gaming show. 
Dude. I'm really bringing down everyone's vibe. Yeah. Yeah, even Seymour is like... Like, drop it. Like, maybe after the show. Vox says that they care about you. Everyone deserves fair treatment if they repent and beg forgiveness. I mean, I forgave Vox for playing recordings of people yelling on when they first started watching the show. But... You know... Leonard's kind of different, you know? Me and Leonard kind of go way back. And, uh, we have history and stuff. This... This... This is me. This... This is me. This is me. We have a... We have a history. When you pull it together, you're like super hard to understand. Thanks, Fox. Yeah, me and Lucky go way back. Lucky has sent me like almost like three dollars in bits. How many bits have you sent, Leonard? I think it's like a week. I'll have to check my my journal and my calendar and my uh, my shrine that I built. I'm obviously joking. I I do uh, think that it's awesome that you started hanging out. You guys are like my I'll call you guys like my OP posse. No, my OP for like original posse. Well, I mean, I guess Petricide and 44 Kai are my original, original posse. Yeah, they are the double OP. And then you guys are like, gonna be my OP. And then if like the show actually does take off, then like, everyone will just be like, regu regular people, or whatever. But you guys are hanging out here in what is still basically the beginning. So... Just a bunch of peas. That's right. Well... I don't want to call y'all my puppet, so... Puppet sounds like derogatory. What do you... What do you mean by derogatory? Derogatory? Are you gonna... Oh no. No. No, 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 no. We're not gonna like change your personality to like crying all the time. No. Stop it. Right. Now. You know what I mean. For like a human person to be a puppet is derogatory because it means I control you and I wouldn't I would not want to like call the people who watch my show puppets because it's like oh I'm the puppet master of all these people on the internet and that's just not my style so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with posse because Know where my posse? I don't, I don't know. People, my original people. Because posse is a, a, an assumption too. Of like, I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to be lame either. I'm so indecisive. And plus, like, I don't know. If you want to be in my posse box, you can be in... <laughs> oh lord, that sounds funny to say. 
But if you want to be in the It's Me, I'm Alex posse, maybe I could start a street team too. Be like, hey folks, jump, why don't you be in the It's Me, I'm Ax I Actually, It's Me, I'm Alex uh, street team. Go out on the streets and tell people. That would be weird. It's definitely not a squad. I, I am not a big fan of squads. Like, posse is okay, but like, squads... Especially like when people are like, Join my notification squad, and I'm like, You motherfucker. Trying to make me feel like I'm a part of something. So that like... People will get notified about your stuff. The Alex Alliance. Yeah. I don't know. But I mean, there are puppets here. The Squid Squad. Perhaps. It'll just, I guess it'll come naturally. You know, like I don't, I don't know who comes up with these things. You know, like deadheads, like fans of the '60s band, well, the '60s, '70s, and '80s band, The Grateful Dead. Their fans are called deadheads, but I don't know if like The Grateful Dead came up with that or like. If the people in who were the like would have, I just don't want to presume anything. I'm like, if I'm all, you know, I've got like four regular viewers now. I'm like, oh shit, time to fucking come up with a a unifying name for all of my fans. Like, that just sounds like narcissistic, and I'm a humble sort of internet boy, you know? That's, uh, that's my thing. That's another one of my virtues, is, uh, how exceedingly humble I am. Yep. Uh, that's a little vague. I think. I mean, it's not like super terrible, but it's a. Uh, Maybe it can be the, it's me, I'm a fan of the internet streaming show, it's me, I'm Alex Posse. Leonard is worthless against this Kakuna. My Pikachu is going to kick some ass on that second gym. That's cool. Kakuna Matata, motherfucker. I get that. That's like a Lion King reference. It was. Thanks for pointing that out for, uh... The people who may not have gotten that. You are so useful, Leonard.
just gonna let you look at this caterpillar, but I'm switching you out now. Sorry, bro. So I assume the next gem is a bug gem. Gonna be fighting some bugs. No. No, I changed my mind. This is all Seymour. Whoa. Yep. All for you. I guess... 90 poke dollars? That's it? All these fucking mountain people. Oh, I, I obviously was not looking at you at any point. I was looking at the wall. I thought I saw something. This route does look sort of like the kind of person you might find in the mountains. Damn. Hey, that's a... a me. She does, uh, experiment with the dark side, if you know what I mean. I don't think people know what you mean. She's like, she does stuff that's dark sided. We're not getting into that just yet. It's, it's scary. You mean like spirit cooking and stuff? Eh, not specifically. We'll get into it one day. I don't want to pull our eggs in, in that basket. I don't think that was the analogy you were looking for. Don't want to count those eggs before they hatch. I don't think that's that's it either. Uh, eggs. I don't want to like egg her on because she might kill us and eat us. Um, yeah. Is my Pikachu happy? Oh, he's so happy and he's got like a little, does he have a, like a little triangle beard thingy? Oh.
like his little triangle beard thingy. Soul patch. That was what it was. some of that my Pokemon later. Thundershock is pretty darn powerful. Oh, you want some? No, I didn't touch you. Jigglypuff. Oh. Oh no, you disabled my tail whip. I don't appear to be very effective against you anyway. But my litter needs energy before we switch over to him. I'm calling it energy, that's not the right stuff. Alright, whatever. We're all friends here. How's about a double kicking? Uh oh. You done. You done messed up. Wow, that was a lot of experience. Nice. Yep, that's it. Town yet? Indeed, they are. Hey. Yeah. Oh no, is it a cave? I don't want to go in a cave. Tell me there's a town here. Oh, thank goodness. Caves are like my least favorite thing in Pokemon games. I hate them. You have to go through them, and then they like... You have to fight zoo bats, and I don't like it. I like bats a whole lot. 
And I should be like all about some Zubats, but going through a cave and having to fight Zubats all the time. Oh. I see. Well. Yeah, and I guess. I guess in my previous playthroughs, I'm not sure I've ever had a, uh, an actual Pikachu on my team. So, when I played through a uh, 3DS, uh, I didn't even read what he said. What did you say? Yeah, I've already done that, thanks. I had like some sort of lizard dude when I played the the first 3DS Pokemon. I think he was electric. Be helpful or I could just like get my mom to follow along cuz I don't know about this lucky should I buy this dude's magic card for 500 poke dollars I assume that's probably a bad deal right you can just catch a magic carp. Yes, it's a bad deal, or yes, I should buy this dude's magic carp. Alright. So I just gotta, like, splash it up. Well, let's see. I think my magic carp is gonna be uh Miss Ruth because she's always splashing around doing her splashing Yeah. What's up, Lord Thickamus the Third? I see that you posted that you're thick. I don't know if you're trying to get me to uh, start calling you thick, but I love saying Lord Thickamus the Third, so. I don't know if Miss Ruth is a. M I double -S, S Ruth. Let's see if we can even put that many letters. Looks like we can. Did I never... Oh, I think I started rambling about, uh... Bulbasaurs and shit, and then never really got to it, huh? I just said that my favorite type was usually grass Pokemon... <laughs> Pokemon... And that I usually... Give them weed-related names, because I'm super cool... And stuff. But, uh... Huh. I feel like I have a favorite, and I'm not even thinking of it right now. 
That shows what like what a Pokemon casual I am. Shoot. It's a fucking cave. God damn it. And then I talked about the clown Pokemon. Shit. It'll come to me. I think it might be one of the ones in uh, Generation 2. Um, I think that's this is the one that have all of the uh, color themed town names. Technically, Lavender Town is also in Pokemon Crystal in the Generation 2 games. Because. I don't know. I don't have to tell you guys that. Oh, snap. Hey, that's a Pokemon game too. Maybe I should play some Pokemon Snap sometime. I think I can handle that. I don't know if you guys can. All my damn Pokemons are asleep. Are you egging my suggestion that I Play the Pokemon picture taking game. That's fine. Obviously, Lucky Hedon gets to pick all the games around here, so... Whatever Lucky wants... I should! I mean... Lucky hates Mario games, but... You know... But yeah, actually, I've never played through Mario RPG, so uh, I'm gonna add that to the list. That's a good idea. You'll watch whatever I stream? Ha ha ha. I've started the Super Paper Mario for the Wii like five or six times, but I never beat it. And then there, of course, like there's Thousand Year Door, which everybody is all into, and I've never played that either. But I should, I should probably just start, you know. With the uh, the good old-fashioned original one for the SNES, and uh, work my way up. It's only all right. I mean, I'm not getting indignant about it, but I swear, people is uh, it isn't bad. Wow. Again, I'm not getting indignant about it. I don't hold very strong opinions about Thousand Year Door. But man, people on the internet is like... People on the internet are like... That's like the best 
game ever to be made. Or something. That's interesting. Won't this thing just die? Thank you. Holy shit. Please don't send out another one of those things, because I don't like it. Yeah, you lost. I definitely like Wario games. I played through the... the first WarioWare not too long ago. Yeah, Waluigi is all the craze these days. He's, um... What am I doing? Oh man, and there's ladders too. No. 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 I have a, a very strong f feeling that uh, Nintendo's gonna like cash in on the Waluigi meme and I wouldn't be surprised if they do like a year of Waluigi thing to cash in on it. It'll happen. You heard it here first. Maybe not. I'm, I'm sure other people have theorized that. I'm not like a hundred percent. Yeah, that would be tight. I always thought Waluigi was interesting. I never played Mario Tennis, but I did play some Mario Golf. I love me some Mario Golf. I've never played real life golf. But Mario Golf has always made me want to play real life golf. But I would probably suck at that. Whoa. He'll be like, hey, hey. Waluigi dicks. I don't know. That was awful. Sorry. Was that a, was that a decent Waluigi laugh, though? Hey, hey. I'm Waluigi. Yeah. I'm gonna stop. Oh, yeah. He's like, wah. Dicks. He always says dicks. I don't know why he does that. Wah! <laughs> Something like that. Yep, that's Waluigi. Always dicking it up. Aw oh, man, I'm not sure if I have my YouTube page set for mature audiences kind of like worried some children are gonna come upon this show and watch it because it's like a cartoon with puppets and then we're like wow Luigi dicks and all sorts of dirty filthy talk I perhaps feel like my demeanor that is mostly calm most of the time and my mostly positive attitude might mislead mislead people to think that that's true I'm probably 
way more healthier to watch than Logan Paul. So... You are right. I did not even think about that. And they watch PewDiePie, I guess. I don't know if kids still watch PewDiePie. He does. He does. He is, um, uh, not held in high regard by people who... Right, that's... That's all. We're just talking about a little bit of dicks and butt sex. Nope. And then, you know, sometimes I'm like, should I be doing that? I'm like a little kid or something. But then I'm like, man, South Park was like having little kids talk about dildo and butt sex like 20 years ago. I can talk about some fucking butt sex. Like, you can do whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna get all super nasty and kinky and stuff. Right? Like, like, yeah, they had that, that thing about the, the red rocket or whatever. So, I'm never gonna jerk off. I can give you the It's Me, I'm Alex guarantee that I will never talk about... Well, I'm talking about it now, but I will never endorse the jerking off of dogs. That is like... I may say a dirty word here and there and... All that stuff, but not. I don't want to be gross. I mean, sometimes I have I have talked about my dog's balls before, so I am kind of a hypocrite because I have noted on a few occasions that my dog has black leathery balls. But I feel like that's relevant, like so. It's true, though. But I'm not gonna touch them. I would never. Maybe... I've seen that. Maybe I've seen them and I've, uh... They're, they're so black and leathery. God, I don't... I, I should stop. I'm just saying. What am I doing in this Pokemon game? Oh yeah. The show will probably work better in clip form anyway. I'm not doing anything to poor Oscar. Oscar's sweet. He's actually looking at me now, right now, from across the room because I'm saying his name. And I bet in his little dog mind, he's like, "Are you talking about my dog balls on the internet again?" And I am, but just this one time. I'm not gonna make it like. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll have to make that happen. I'll work on it. Yeah. Dog balls. I bet I say balls funny, don't I? Oh, I'm just like clicking away because like I'm looking at the chat room and thinking about Oscar's balls. 
I know, I, I, I was on like autopilot because like I got distracted. <laughs> I was just clicking, I was like, eh. Yeah, sorry. I don't want that to happen. Ooh, I'm already low on potions. There it was. They are distracting. And then like when he's cleaning them, oh my god. It's so gross sounding. <sighs> so everybody, how's school? Is anybody in the school? Any of you guys go to school? I know. That's why I want to talk about school. I'm changing the subject. Yeah, school with a K. Not you. That's cool. Oh yeah, it is summertime. So I guess people who are normally in school would not be in school right now. That's what I understand. But they say that life gets better after high school and uh, it really just depends on who you are and the life that you've led. Someone's gonna die. Out of potions. Yeah, Lucky makes a kill in driving forklifts. Are you popular at, the, at your school? Whoa, could you get me all popular with the high school kids? That would be sweet. Oh man, my Pikachu fainted. Everyone's gonna die. This is not cool. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm not super cool. I mean, unless you guys think that your coolness hinges on me being cool, and then if I was not cool, you wouldn't be watching me because of how cool you are, but, you know, you can be like, I feel like I'm not, like, I would, I'm not good on paper, like, you know, like, telling people, like, yeah, there's this show on Twitch, and, like, It's like this cartoon kid 
and his four puppet pals, but like two of them hardly say anything. There's like an old lady. And yeah, they talk about dog balls and dick sucking and... You just have to see it. Sweet. Yep, I'm out of usable Pokemon. Oh, dang. I know a I know a dude who's a chef who makes the same amount of money and he did not go to culinary school. He's like a, one of those fancy chefs, like what's it called, like a sous chef or whatever. Like, but he did not. Sometimes you just gotta like Get into the business by proving your worth. Like, that's what you gotta do. Well, that's the uh, end of the Pokemoning, but I'm still here. Hanging on, I guess, for the the after show talking part. Thanks, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. You're gonna study rocks and minerals? That's cool. Rocks and minerals are a huge, important deal when it comes to geology, so we need people studying those things so that they can be... Oh lord, I'm terrible when I try to like say words sometimes but yeah I wish you all the, all of the best in your geology fuck there we go again be a real good geologist you can do it so you're like torn between being a rock doctor and a fish well they're not doctors a rock scientist and a fish scientist? Or maybe you can be like a fairy scientist or like an electric scientist. See what I did there? Because we're playing Pokemon. Yep. Yep. I'm all about saying the words. That's why I'm going to be super popular with all the high school kids. Lucky does uh, make a killing driving that forklift. You um, uh, you do advertise how good of a career it is to go into. I don't know if you want to get that market oversaturated. That would be cool to have animals named after you. You would have to like discover more animals, but it's a big ocean out there. Yeah. Like 
there are some weird, crazy creatures hiding out there in the ocean. It's scary. So, if you want to go out there and get in that big, crazy ocean and uh, discover some fish monsters, all the all the power to you. But it is scary. I bet there are multiple fish shaped like wieners. Caucus minutus. Huh. My Latin pronunciation isn't up to snuff, but I think I did an okay job. So. All right. Oh, I think that, uh, I like the new background music, but it sure is like a, a sleepy thing, and I, I think you guys know that I have a tendency to, like, get sleepy because I think my metabolism is all out of whack and I don't that could be a sign of something bad like if I stop showing up it's not because I quit it's because like whatever disease that I have right now that I don't know about yet that makes me tired all the time it finally caught up to me so like if it kills me I just want you guys to know that it was fun and if it doesn't kill me then I'm an asshole and like I should have never brought it up so You know, Lucky, it isn't all about money. Uh, well, you know, Lord Thickamus might just want to swim with the fishes. Well, no, that's like a euphemism for dying. There I go again. But, uh,. Like some people just, you know, they want to make fat stacks driving forklifts and other people want to like have fish named after them. Like if there was a fish named after me, I mean it would be cool, but then like also my name is Alex, so like that's a very common name, so... Hmm. I suppose being a dock worker is kind of dangerous, don't you think? Like a pallet could fall on your head. Do you wear? Do you get to wear a hard hat? I say get to like it's like a privilege. I mean, maybe it is a privilege, but. Uh oh. We got a hardcore career conversation going on. See, that's another thing that people can be told be like, you know, sometimes we talk about dicks and dog balls, but 
it's also a good place to get career advice. So. So yeah, it's a good show. Damn, 200k a year, that's like one-eighth of a million, right? Like, 10 divided by 2 is 8, yeah, that's like one-eighth of a million. Maybe I should have been a mathematician. Shit. Quick, Seymour, what's 500 times 3? Um... 1500. See? You just take 5, and you multiply it times 3, that's 15, and then you add a couple of zeros to it. Bam. Mathematics. Lord Thickamus the third, Lucky really, really, really wants you to drive a forklift. And we should really think hard about that. Okay, so don't get aggressive towards each other. This is the end, isn't it? You both are gonna get mad at each other about average salaries and... No! Stop! Y'all are getting mildly aggressive about this. Can't we... can we talk about dog balls again? Oscar sure has some leathery black balls. Hmm. Alright, fellas. I think I'm gonna... have Dwayne sound the horn. Feel, feel free to continue this conversation if you like, in my absence. I'll be back, but it might be a, be a little while. I need to take a more extended type of break. Give my producer a foot massage, but uh, it was it was definitely fun and uh, yeah. Oh, Lord Thickness the Third. It's a shame that I turned off the chat, the on screen chat stuff before you said that comment. You missed it, folks. But thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget.
Goodbye.